Hey, I'm Alice. And I'm Jack. In this short video, we're going to take you to a place we visited one afternoon on our recent trip to Virginia Beach, Virginia. We always look for cool places to hang out when we visit a city, and we really found one here that we wanted to let you know about. We visited a place called Beachside Social. It's a games bar on Atlantic Avenue right across the street from the beach. And we played some shuffleboard, which was actually cooler than it may sound to you. Yeah, this place was really cool. It was themed to a cruise ship. And in addition to various games that we'll tell you about in a minute, they also have some good food, craft beers, and several cocktails. It costs $30 an hour to rent a shuffleboard court, which can accommodate between two to four players. I hadn't actually played shuffleboard since, like, elementary school, and Alice had actually never played it, so it was good that the employees are always willing to spend a few minutes explaining the game to you, and they provide a helpful diagram on how to play. And they also gave us the terminology for the game. So basically, you use your tang, or cue, to push your biscuits, which are the little pucks, from the kitchen, which is the starting point of the board, down to the other end, and you're trying to get it into a scoring area where you can win either 7, 8, or 10 points, depending on where it lands. But you have to be careful. There's also a minus 10 point area. You don't want to land there. And on top of that, your opponent will be trying to knock your biscuits out of the places where you've got them to score whenever it's their turn. It's good to take some practice shots to kind of get a feel for the game, to know how hard you have to push your biscuit to get to the scoring area without going past it. Now, the player with the most points at the end of eight rounds is the winner. It isn't really important to the point of this video, though, to discuss who actually won when we played. Mmm, I don't know if I agree, but we'll move on. So we also tried some drinks that were pretty good. Jack had the Bahama Mama, which had rum, lime juice, grenadine, orange juice, and pineapple juice. And then I tried a new drink they had just added to the menu called Stir Crazy. This one featured vodka, disarona, lime juice, orange juice, and grenadine. They were both pretty strong, actually a little bit stronger than I like, but they tasted good. They cost about $10 each. We got some snacks as well. Alice got the Mediterranean platter, which had non-chips, oven roasted tomatoes, pickles, and hummus. This cost about $8 and was a good option for people who wanted to eat, but not really. I had pepperoni flatbread, which cost $11, and it was pretty good. They also have appetizers, sliders, and fish and chips on the menu. And in addition to shuffleboard, they also have bocce ball that you can play. And outside of the current COVID situation, they usually have board games that you can check out from the front desk for free and then play at the tables with your friends. Now, it's not an option right now, obviously, due to COVID, as the pieces and the cards and the game boards would be really difficult or maybe even impossible to sanitize to the degree that you would need to. Originally, I thought Shuffleboard would draw an older crowd, but it was actually a pretty young crowd. We may have been among the oldest people there, and we ain't old yet. Um, it seemed like a cool hangout spot for young adults, and there were a few families there, too, while we were there. It's open several days a week, but check their Facebook page, linked below in the description, for the most current schedule. And that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this look at Beachside Social. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and let your friends know about us. We'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you the next time we're traveling through.